Hi, I'm Jack Canfield, and today I want to walk you through how to use EFT tapping to release pain and create more vibrant health. I'm always looking for quicker and more efficient ways to release blocks and help people achieve their goals. And EFT tapping is one of the greatest discoveries I've ever made. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques. And it's usually referred to as tapping because the technique consists of identifying a physical pain or negative emotions like fear, guilt, and anxiety, or a limiting belief, and then tapping on nine acupuncture points in a specific order as you concentrate on that pain or belief until it's released, sometimes within a matter of minutes. Tapping almost seems too easy and too simple to work, as powerfully as it does, yet it does work. I have used it with hundreds of people one-on-one -on -one and with thousands of people in large groups and online. And I'm still amazed at how powerful it is. You know, I've seen it literally disappear, debilitating pain in a flight attendant who had to quit her job after a fall. I've seen it work miracles with people who've had traumatic brain injuries, migraines, chronic back pain and neck pain. So what I'd like to do is teach you the basics of tapping today and have you tap along with me for several rounds while focusing on a physical pain or an emotion that you would like to release. Now, the first thing you need to know are the nine points that we use in tapping. The first is what is called the karate chop point. It's located on the side of the hand right here. This is the part of the hand that would deliver a karate chop. Now, you can tap on either hand, it doesn't matter. Use all four fingers of the other hand like this when you're tapping. Now, the other points are on the head, the face, the chest, and under the arm. And the first is the top of your head. Now just draw a line up from the middle of the top of your ears, and where they meet is that point. And again, you can tap on that point with all, five, all four fingers like this. Tapping is very forgiving. If you tap with all four fingers in that general area, you're gonna be hitting it. Now next is the eyebrow point. What you wanna do here is tap with two fingers right at the end of where your eyebrows end. If you have a unibrow, just about that far apart, and you're tapping there. When you tap, you wanna tap about four to five to six to seven times and you want to tap hard enough that you feel it, but not, 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 you're not hurting yourself. It's just kind of a, a firm tap, like a strong raindrop that might have fallen on your head at some point in your life. Now, the next point is the side of your eye, and you want to put your two fingers here, right up against, right where that bone is, right before you go into your eye, you're tapping right there with two fingers, and then under the eye. Again, just, you'll feel where your eye socket is, you just kind of come down just a hair, and there's, often you'll feel a ridge right there, and you're tapping right in that area. You can tap both eyes like this, or you can tap just one. You can go from one side to the other. Then you're gonna do under the nose. You'll find tapping's very forgiving, so it doesn't really matter how perfectly you do it or which side you do it. So under the nose, we're right up here into that little um, 90 degree angle where your nose hits your lip. And then on the chin, right on this cleft, kind of in there and with a little bit of a downward pressure. And then the collarbone point. So you, here's your collarbone. You wanna go down about an inch and over about two inches and you're tapping there. Some people tap both like this. You can tap one side and just tap around in that area, you're gonna hit it. And then finally under the arm point, it's right here. It's often referred to as the bra strap point because often this is where your bra strap comes across if you're a woman. If you're a man or a woman, you can actually push around in there, you usually find there's a sore spot. Now you wanna, as I said, tap about five to seven times, firm but not hard. Now that you know the points to tap, let's focus on the whole process. You start by picking out what physical pain, maybe the pain in your lower back, pain in your neck, or what emotion like anger, guilt, or fear that you'd like to release. And once you've picked it, you take a moment and you close your eyes and you really focus on that pain or that tension or that emotion or a limiting belief if you wanna focus on that. And you ask yourself, on a scale of one to 10, how intense is this pain? So if it's a 10, that's the highest. The highest would be a 10. So on a scale of one to 10, 10 being high. If it's a belief, it's like, how strongly do I believe that in this moment in time? Maybe it's only a five or six if I kind of believe it, or it's a 10 if I really think it's true. And the same would be true with an emotion. How strong is that fear? How strong is that guilt? Now, the first thing we're gonna do after we, we, we've established a number, we call this the um, subjective unit of, dis, of, of discomfort. We don't have to memorize any of that, but it's just how intensely you feel. Now we're gonna tap on the karate chop point while we repeat out loud this phrase three times. Even though I have this, and then you fill in the blank, this pain in my back, or this migraine headache, or this emotion of fear, whatever it is, you just name it. This could be fear of rejection, or this anger toward my father, or this guilt for not being there with my kids, whatever. I totally love and accept myself. So go ahead, take a minute right now, 
And we'll just stop for a second. We'll take a minute. And I want you to close your eyes and make sure, pick a pain or an emotion you'd like to disappear. And then on a scale of one to 10, how strong is that emotion, that fear, that belief right now? And then we're gonna tap, open your eyes, we're gonna tap on the karate chop point. We're gonna say, even though I have this, fill in the blank, I totally and unconditionally love and accept myself. And a second time, even though I have this, then fill in the blank. Say it out loud, by the way, it's much more powerful. I totally and unconditionally love and accept myself. Third time out loud. Even though I have this, fill in the blank, I totally and unconditionally love and accept myself. Now we're gonna tap on the points outlined earlier. And you can just tap along with me. And again, say the words out loud. Say the pain or the emotion. Just, you know, you can, you can shorten it now. This fear, this guilt, whatever it might be, this pain in my back. And we're saying it out loud as we tap on the top of our head. And we're gonna tap for a few rounds. So here we go. So this, this, I'm gonna tap on some pain I have in my lower back. You fill in the words with yours. This pain in my lower back, eyebrow point, this pain in my lower back, side of the eye, this pain in my lower back, under the eye, this pain in my lower back, under my nose, this pain in the lower back, under the chin point, this pain in my lower back, collarbone point, this pain in my lower back, under the arm, this pain in my lower back. I keep saying it out loud. The being out loud is really important, but feel the feeling, whatever it is out loud. Here we go. This pain in my lower back. This pain in my lower back. Side of the eye, this pain in my lower back. Under the eye, this pain in my lower back. Under the nose, this pain in my lower back. On the chin, this pain in my lower back. And on the collarbone point, this pain in my lower back. Under the arm, this pain in my lower back. Let's do another couple rounds. Top of the head, this pain in my lower back. Eyebrow, this pain in my lower back. Side of the eyes, this pain in my lower back. Under the eyes, this pain in my lower back. Under the nose, this pain in my lower back. On the chin, this pain in my lower back. On the collarbone point, this pain in my lower back. Under the arm, this pain in my lower back. One more time. Top of the head, this pain in my lower back. Eyebrow point, this pain in my lower back. On the side of the eye, this pain in my lower back. Under the eye, this pain in my lower back. Under the nose, this pain in my lower back. On the chin, this pain in my lower back. Collarbone point, this pain in my lower back. Under the arm, this pain in my lower back. Now, take a deep breath and close your eyes. Take another deep breath. Let all the air out. And focus on that pain or that feeling. Notice if it's reduced in, in size. How's it feeling now? Now, if it's gone down, great. You want to keep tapping until you get down to a two or better yet, down to a zero. If it hasn't started to move yet, just keep tapping until it does. I promise you, it'll go away. It's, it's truly, 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 truly amazing. I've done this with hundreds of people in a room and we've gotten rid of fear of all kinds of things, failure, heights. I've got people in the swimming pools who are afraid to go in and five minutes later, they're actually swimming. So it works if you'll do it. We always say the principles and the techniques always work if you always work the principles and the techniques. Okay, so let's end the day with a very short meditation. Go ahead and close your eyes and take a few deep breaths. And notice with each breath that you relax, letting go of any tension in your face, your neck, your shoulders, your chest, your back, your hips, your legs. Just letting the chair or the floor hold you up. A few more deep breaths, just letting go any tension, tiredness, or pain. And now imagine that you're surrounded by a beautiful sphere of radiant white light. If this light begins to penetrate your body, through your skin, into all your cells, going to any place in your body where you previously experienced the pain, or the tension, or the fear, or whatever feeling you were tapping on, or a limiting belief, and imagine it filling every cell in that part of your body. And if there's any residue of that pain, tension, numbness, emotion, let the light begin to dissolve it. And as it dissolves, see that pain dissolving into a gray, misty smoke and leaving your body and floating up to the ceiling where it's now transmuted into a golden, white light and is whisked away out of the room.
And now just imagine how you would be, how you would act, how you would feel, and what you would do if you were entirely free of this painful physical sensation or painful emotion you started with. And see yourself as a totally happy, free, flexible, mobile, strong person doing anything you would like to do. How would you walk, run, swim, dance, exercise? How would you stand? How would you sleep? How would you interact with others? What would you be free to do? So just take a moment, I'll be silent for a few seconds, and just visualize being absolutely free of any pain, any emotional upset, any limiting belief, and being fully able to do whatever you want. And now begin to become aware of your breathing again, feeling the rise and fall of your chest and stomach as you breathe in and out. And on your next exhalation, just gently open your eyes and come back to wherever you are, totally present and totally aware. Very good. Well, thanks for participating today. Now here's your homework. After you watch this video, I want you to try tapping for a few weeks to release any physical or emotional pain you may be experiencing. Just keep tapping until it's completely gone. It might take a little practice, but I promise you it's a very effective technique. And then please let me know how you're feeling after using it. You can tell me what your experience with tapping is in the comments below. So thanks for watching. And remember, nothing in your life will change for the better until you do. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like it, share it with a friend who may need it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And for some additional resources on tapping and guided meditation, visit my website at jackcanfield.com. Thanks again for watching.